Alright, how am I gonna do this? I don't have a net big enough. It's time for this big boy to grow up and do some things on his own. Such as take my boat out by myself. Going to the Wisconsin River. If I just catch a lot of fish, I'd be happy. I went with my son Nick a little bit ago and we only caught two sturgeon in like four hours. And oh, I hope I can do better than that. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Doing this boat thing all by myself. Figure uncut angling can do it. Why can't I? Well, probably because he's a professional. I'm coming for you, Quick Troop. Sometimes when I'm driving, I forget which car I have and then like the gas, which side it is when I need gas. But I'm gonna show you guys a life pro tip. Do you see the arrow right there? That means the gas tank is on that side of my car. So it'll be on this side. We're here kind of early, but that's a good thing. All right, so here's the plan. That rod has a dead minnow on it, or maybe a shovel nose sturgeon. Oh, that would be nice. This rod has a worm on it, and that would be for a smallmouth buffalo or a shovel nose sturgeon. Actually, anything that bites, anything that bites, would be nice. Then I'm gonna get this rod hooked up with a worm, just kind of cast it out and dink it around the bottom. And that was probably a paddle fish. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, got a fish. Yeah, got one. These? Yeah. This is a big rod. Hey! A sturgeon. <laughs> Look at that! Got a sturgeon, baby. This is a lake sturgeon because its tail is on his skinny. These are so sharp though. I gotta be careful with this guy. You wanna see him? Oh, be careful. Don't cut yourself, David. Alright, bye buddy. Got one, I think. Yep. Oh, you're bigger. Here, buddy. Cool. Sturgeon. Look at that guy. Let's not fall off the boat, but I'll show you. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, he is. Two sturgeon. That's cool. I might have something on this one. Oh, yeah, I think I do. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm hooked up here too. This one's bigger. Which would make sense because this 
gotta make sure it doesn't get on the anchor. Alright, alright. I'm gonna go over here. Just don't go on the anchor. Rope. Get away from the anchor rope. No. Ah, shoot. Are you on it still? <laughs> That's a bigger sturgeon. <laughs> That's a lake sturgeon. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, how am I going to do this? I don't have a net big enough. I grab him by the head and by the tail. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man. 44! <laughs> 44 inch sturgeon that's probably my biggest fish or longest fish ever <laughs> that was awesome oh Hey, it's a big flathead. Check this out. This is a flathead catfish. You see it? <laughs> yeah, flathead catfish. That's cool. Wow, that's cool. You can see why these are called flatheads. They really have a very flat head, but look at that. That's my best flathead catfish ever. Nice. All right. Such you go, buddy. That was fun. I was just drifting down the river and letting my worm drag on the bottom. So, here's the rig, everybody. Sinker that slides a little bit, and then a worm on a hook. This catches you fish, I swear. Bet you I got a freshwater drum. Yep. Felt like it. Hee! Look at this. I hooked it in the lip. It's amazing. It happens sometimes. Wooey! Hey, buddy. Hey, you're a good freshwater drum. I like you. It was a good day overall. I caught six fish, three different species, nothing new, but I feel good about the flathead. I've caught one before, but it was tiny, so now I feel a little more vindicated. I got that flathead. Also, biggest fish ever. All right, that's it. Push the good buttons. I'm still at species 44, but I've also caught a 44 inch sturgeon. <laughs> so it's Labor Day weekend. Uh, I'm gonna show you all the boats out here. Let's count how many boats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, where is he? Pull that guy right in there. I see him. 14, 15, 16 boats. Just a few. <laughs> well, I hope they're all catching fish. <laughs>